Hi, beautiful Sag. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you for joining me here, Sagittarius. I hope you're doing well. Thank you guys, as always, for your comments, all your likes, and all of your subscriptions. It's deeply appreciated. Thank you so much, everyone. Self-fulfilled prophecy. No, it's going to be okay, and so that it is. Archangel Gabrielle is here. Guiding your creativity, angel of wisdom. Pursue knowledge and spiritual growth. Archangel Raphael is here, helping you to heal your mind, your body, your spirit. Rejuvenation. Take time to rest and recharge your batteries. Take time for a much needed break and relax. You've got two archangels here. One is overlooking your creativity and one is helping you to heal and rejuvenate. Let's get your angel numbers, Sagittarius. Everything's going to be okay, and so it is, Sagittarius. I am limitless, zero. There is a beginning and an end. All is infinite, and it is time to develop your spiritual side. You're gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. 28. I am a leader. In effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others and can make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward your achievement. 16. I am perceptive. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. Zero, zero, I am observant. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow these, their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. 222, two, two, I am balanced. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. So, so it is, Sagittarius. When you decide to focus in, on your angels, your intuition, trusting yourself. Um, it's almost as if spirit is telling you what you are manifesting. It's all going to be okay. Just recharge. Relax and be. Spirit is saying, relax. Hmm. This is a welcome change. Good attitude and a good frame of mind claiming your power. Relax and be. Spirit wants you to be confident and relax and know that your, your angels are taking care. You are one with everything. We are here as family. Show your light. This is a benevolent welcome change. Sag. Psychic abilities. Jeez, Sagittarius. Yeah. So, watch your words. Embrace this in between. Spirit has your back with eagle. Dove spirit, be at peace. Truth transcends illusion with dragonfly and be here now with hummingbird spirit. 
this is joy this is the sweet nectar of life of peace uh, this is a welcome benevolent change you're just surrendering and giving over to You can be completely open with this person. You've learned a spiritual lesson. Balance. One person was giving too much in the relationship, and we know who that is, so go slow. Take time to get to know one another. Hmm. Don't dismiss the red flags. You were very vulnerable. This is your twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. What's going on here? Everything happens for a reason. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Unhealed wounds were blocking forward movement. Okay, let's find out what's going on. Go slow. Judgment. This is moving toward a marriage. This is a divine counterpart connection. But someone sabotage, self sabotage this. What the hell? This is self-sabotage. the heck? Someone... This relationship was moving toward a marriage. And someone self-sabotaged by lying or cheating or involving a third party. It's the past wounds that are affecting this connection. So perhaps this person was... already married maybe they were in a bad relationship that ended before it's past wounds uh, 
That's the truth. And now someone is in regret. going on here someone regrets hurting you is like afraid that what's this clarify this this person's past wounds here Hmm.
this person, um, Someone had it out for you. Got angry at you. Jesus. They were looking at you as if you was the devil. Or you were looking at them like they was the devil. Oh, no. This person was betrayed by somebody who they used to be married to. This person got a mindset, Sagittarius, that you were going to be just like their past person or something like that. Like... Their last relationship was bad, a really bad one. They could have been in a really bad marriage or a really bad situation. Someone was spreading gossip and rumors about you. Um... It's their ex, who they used to be married to or in a relationship with, who is spreading rumors and gossip about you. And maybe this new person who they started talking to, they self-sabotaged the relationship. Hmm. This person has respect for you. I think this person was testing you. You know what I mean? I think they were testing you, Sagittarius, to see how much you would put up with. 
Because, like, their past relationship, they used to be able to get away with stuff. They used to be able to cheat. They used to be able to have mistresses. They used to be able to do certain things that you would not put up with. They self-sabotaged. They had some kind of, um, there is sexual cheating here. They self-sabotage by doing that. See, in their last relationship, that could have been why their last relationship failed. Because of cheating, because of third parties, Sagittarius. That it's like, as long as this person got money out of it, that they would put up with this person doing that. You weren't going to put up with that. You're too highly uh, respectable for that, Sagittarius. This is a benevolent change. This is a positive change for you. You have learned your spiritual lessons. You have learned you focusing in on your spiritual path you're highly respected highly honored here so this person sabotaged this relationship it was moving toward a commitment or a marriage and they sabotaged it they sabotaged it because of their past wounds with past relationships. They had a bad, bad marriage or a bad relationship before you came along. And they were thinking, well, you know, You're going to be like everybody else or you're going to end up cheating or you're going to end up meeting someone new or you're going to find someone better than them. So it's like, I'm going to get you before you get me. When you didn't do anything, Saj. Yeah. They did not trust. Someone might have been paying you attention or somebody may have, you know, you could be quite popular with certain people. They didn't trust this. They got defensive. They're jealous that you were getting attention from someone else or jealous that you were talking to someone else. And they're like, Sagittarius is going to walk away anyway. So what's the point? They're not going to care what I have to say. They're not going to, they're not going to care what I have to say. But you cared, Sagittarius. Temperance Angel. You cared very much.
they sabotaged this connection almost like a test. Like they were testing you to your limits, what you would put up with, what you wouldn't put up with, pushing you and pushing you and pushing you to extremes. It's like, yeah, eventually you're going to walk away. You're going to stick up for yourself and you're going to stand your ground and yeah, you're going to walk away. It's like this person pushed you with the words that they were speaking. It's almost like they could have been very cold hearted. They could have been like, um, saying foolish things or saying stupid things like they could have been drinking and talking bullshit when they were drunk or like almost saying stupid stuff to you that I don't see that you really reacted such you it shows you as being patient I don't see that you really reacted to what they were doing, what they were saying. You may have addressed certain things, Sagittarius, but this person actually was had some form of jealousy toward you, Sag. Like, jealous that you were getting attention jealous that people may have respected you or liked you people you know may have been talking about you may have been saying you know oh sag is a good worker or sag is this or sag is that you know you're so lucky to have sag and they would get their dander up about it like so they would do things to sabotage you or say things to lower your self-esteem or to sabotage you in some kind of way. They might have said some pretty cold, callous things to you, Sag, like testing you and pushing your buttons all the time. I think that this person tried to intentionally make you jealous. I think that this person would say sexual things or would like, this is a flirt, you know, someone flirting with other people. Um, their flirting may have led to you thinking that they were cheating on them. I'm not saying that they weren't cheating, but this is the build up to it. So they would say certain things to you. This is a flirt, someone who flirts a lot. They were doing this because they're insecure. And in fact, they were actually jealous of you talking to people or getting attention from others. They sabotaged this union. They should have watched their words. Like, this person was coming off very cold, very arrogant. They might have said, you know, they they might have been a flirt, like flirting with others in front of you or making sexual comments um, about others. It was to push your buttons to see how much you would put up with. They were testing you. Like this relationship was working toward a marriage and then they sabotaged it. They sabotage their own relationship. It's 
It's almost like they were testing to see what you would be like if you were going to be like their ex or if you were going to be like someone who they were married to or committed to. It's their last relationship. It's almost like a form of attention getting. You know what I mean? Are you going to fight for me? Are you going to put up with me? Are you going to tolerate me? Are you... Are you going to, like, this person? They're an incorrigible flirt. They are. And they could have been making sexual comments about others or someone else flirting with others it's a form of attention getting I just think that you stayed patient here you stayed balanced and I think you thought that this person just didn't care about you. That's why they walked away. You're, you're like, well, they're, you know, they're ignoring me. They're just like giving me the cold shoulder here. So I guess they're not interested. They were testing. It's from old wounds. This person likes attention. They like feminine companionship. They like the opposite sex paying attention to them. They flirt, they, they make sexual comments to other people or about other people. And they were testing your vulnerability to see how vulnerable you were, to see what they could get away with. And when you didn't let them get away with it, I, I don't see you made a big deal about it, Sagittarius, until the very bitter end. But what they're used to is provoking jealousies in feminine energies to, have, to stir them into fighting for them or competing for them. And that didn't work on you. You might have said something to them about it, like, I don't like how you talk to me or I don't like the fact that you are talking to all these other feminines when you're with me. Like, what's that about? But I don't see you, like, lambasting this person or attacking them. But that's what they're used to. It shows that was their way of interpreting that you cared. If you could, if they're fighting with you, it meant that you still cared about them. So it's like they were provoking you to a fight, provoking you to argue. That way they, they knew that you still cared about them. But when you stopped talking to this person and you surrendered them, that's when they felt the betrayal. Because that said, you were done. Sag is like, I'm going to keep my own life in balance. I am, I, I, I'm not going to compete for you. I'm not going to be involved in all this drama. I'm not going to put up with you, you know, uh, being a sneaky link here and talking to people behind my back or dealing with others, or calling others, your exes, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, whoever. I'm not gonna put up with you dealing with all these people from your past, you know what I mean? Like, they were flirting. And flirting led to more. 
They like attention, sexual attention. It built their self-esteem. And I don't see that you were ogling over this person or that you were going to put up with their antics and their, their cutting words. I, I don't see you putting up with that. And it's like, you surrendered them. It's like, if you want to come correct, then do that. But if you're not coming correct, then I don't want to put up with your petty bullshit. I'm not your past person. You may have said that to this person time and time again. I'm not your past person. I'm not like your past person. I'm not going to put up with you doing that. Like I'm not into mind games here. You either want to have a relationship or you don't want to have a relationship. But I'm not putting up with you talking and dealing with and flirting with all these other people. It's not happening. Or stay single. You know what I mean? They were jealous of you. And I think that they were entertaining others. I do. I think that this person would come right out and make sexual comments about other energies. I think that this led you to believe that this person was cheating by their actions and their words. You saw red flags. And it's something that you couldn't dismiss. Um, because their words and their actions were red flags to you. So like, this person was always making comments or flirting with others or talking to people that they used to date or people who they would always brag, the brag, brag, brag about something. And that's not cool to do, bringing your past relationships into your current situation. And I think they were doing that. So if they were doing that with you, they're doing that with the new person that they've met. They were selfish. They were arrogant. They had bitterness toward whoever they used to be married to or divorced from or whoever was their spouse. This person had a really low self-esteem. And I think they were testing you.
and I think you've just accepted things as, well, everything happens for a reason. You may not even, even have known why. It's just like, what can I do here? I'm not begging someone to be in a relationship with me. And I'm not begging for someone's attention. And I just see that sad you just surrendered. You just like, well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be competing with ex-wives, ex-girlfriends, ex-boyfriends, ex-husbands. I'm not gonna be competing with Either I'm a priority in your life or I'm not. And I don't see, you may have lost your temper at the very end, but for the large majority of the time, you were very patient and balanced. But I think they pushed you too far. They're making too many comments like this is a wandering eye this is somebody who's always got to be noticed or feeling I don't know they said some stupid stuff to you Saj they did like just things to make you think like see I I've got people that would die to be with me who would you know, I've got options here. I've got a lot of people interested in me. And that's all fine and dandy. But when you're trying to have a relationship, it's not cool. Sorry. To you, they were red flags. To you, that's a sign of, well, they're going to cheat. Or they're cheating. Like, if i got to beg somebody to be in their life i just don't want them if i have to kiss ass i'm not you know i'm either a priority or i'm not you were diplomatic you were being diplomatic when you talked to this person but i think they pushed you to your limit to your break point. You were disciplined. You were patient. But I think they pushed you to your limit. I think for a long time you were ignoring the signals and the red flags. Who wants to believe that about anybody? But it became so apparent you couldn't ignore it. It's like, okay, that's just rude. You might have called the, that was very rude. You could have called this person rude. You know, that was a really rude comment or an arrogant comment. You know, what do you mean by that? Or why is so-and-so always calling your phone then? And... Oh, they're just a friend. Yeah, well, someone you screwed. And they're still coming around and they're still calling you? What's going on? You know what I mean? I still saw that you were patient. I don't think you wanted to believe the worst in this person. One bit. I think he, they hung themselves. They sabotaged it by their mind games, by their playing games, by them acting cold, by them saying rude things, by them being a flirt and flirting with other people and making themselves look like they were better than you or they could get anybody they wanted. This person got carried away. They, they got carried away and you surrendered. It's like, I'm not competing. 
Take care.